All right, so this is a use case that I feel like I actually see kind of frequently. I've got a list of restaurants that are in San Francisco, and so I've got their names, addresses, uh, zip codes, and I've got each one of them a latitude and longitude. And so if I press the map chart button, it'll automatically give me uh, the location of every single one of those restaurants in the city. Now I've also got a shape file of the neighborhoods in San Francisco. And, you know, I don't necessarily have a neighborhood dimension to my, uh, my file that I, that I brought in first, but I wanted to know well, which of these restaurants are in which of these neighborhoods. Now comparing which latitude and longitude points are in which polygons in a shapefile is not necessarily out of the box functionality in Spotfire. But luckily for me, um, I have the ability to use a, a Spotfire data function. So data functions allow you to uh, or allow somebody who knows how to write a script in R to kind of create and share a new set of functionality for Spotfire. So I don't have one in here in my list of data functions that I can necessarily use, but uh, my friend Ian Cook, who um, uh, just is a, is a friend of mine who's a real expert in R, um, he created for me this Spotfire data function. So I'm going to go to Tools, Register Data Functions, and Import. And I've already downloaded, uh, I've put it out of my download section so I can click it. And then I'll save as. So it's now part of my library. That means that anybody else who connects to this library will have access to this functionality from now on. So I'll call this points and polygon. I'll give it some words like geo and uh, geoanalytics and geofencing and shape files. There we go. And I'll close. So now if I just go ahead and say insert data function, you'll see some of those new tags. I can click on just geo, or if I just type uh, poly, there you go. So you've got a couple of different ways to find it. I press OK, and then it just gives you the inputs that you need so in, in this case, my inputs are going to be some columns. So I'm going to give it a column. It's going to be the geometry from the uh, shape file. I'm going to use the unique identifier in the shape file. From the, uh, the businesses uh, table, I'm going to pick the longitude. And from the businesses table, I'm going to pick the latitude. Now from an output, I'm going to really just have a new column that's going to be added to my businesses table called ID. So I press OK. Here, and let's actually, here, let's make this bigger so you can see it. If I go to my columns, I should have this new one here, which will map to each name of the uh, the neighborhoods in San Francisco from this shape file. Now what that means that I can do is <clears throat> if I go to my data table and create a relationship I can say that ID in my businesses table equals neighborhood in my shape file. I can create a new chart Let's go to layers and add a feature layer, which is the neighborhoods. And on the labels, we'll put the, uh, the name, the appearance, we'll make black borders, a little bit transparent, and we'll just color them all a bit of blue. There we go. And then if I wanted to just right click this, create details visualization. Because I have that relationship now, it's asking me which table I want to drill into. I'll say businesses. And now I can click on every single one of these um, neighborhoods and I can see the list of all of the different restaurants that are there. All right. So, you know, now anybody who logs into this specific server on Spotfire will be able to use and access and, and you know, have this functionality for, um, you know, comparing points in polygons 
whenever they need to. Um, so Spotfire data functions, super useful. Um, you know, even if you don't know R, if you know somebody in your company or your your organization or a friend who knows R, they can easily write one, save it out, and um, you know, extend the functionality that that wasn't already there. Uh, so I hope this was useful to you. Uh, please definitely subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comments uh, what are the things you'd like to see. Thank you so much.